So here we have a new lake fluorescent baton. This is a four foot baton, 58 watts, I think. I think it is. Don't quote me on that. I need to look at the tube again in a minute. But um, yeah, it's got a start in it. It's not the original one. I've, the original one's on here somewhere because I've got a bit of a collection of starters here. Like from starters wherever you look. I mean, there's even like a starter or two in this drawer. Yeah, you know, plenty of starters to keep me going. But yeah, I got this from the IC Electrical Skip. I've also got another fluorescent baton saved somewhere from the exact same location. So yeah, we're going to look inside it in a minute. But first, we're going to give it a quick test. Three, two, one. It'd help if I turn the main switch on first. Now my alarms are on. Anyway, time to give it a quick test. Right, three, two, one. There we go. Now, I have tested this already, so I know it works, but, you know. So here, here it is. That's what it would look like. I'm probably going to install this at some point, but... Uh, so, you know, we'll give it a few more blasts to you. This one. A bit. Right, we'll change the starter. We'll see how different these can start up. So put that in, put that there. I'll put this off ram one in. In fact, I'll now put this one as well. In fact, we'll do this tongues ram one because I think I tested this starter. It took forever to turn on. So I think it is actually on its way out. Three, two, one. Yeah, that took forever. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Might use this starter instead. I like this one. Oh, it's very, very delayed. Again, switch on. So, yep, that's this. I'll do this Osram one here. Uh, why am I doing that while it's turned on? I mean, I, I can do it while it's turned on, but still, not that it's what I want to do. But while we start, is stubborn. Osram starter going in three, two, one. a bit delayed as well what the fuck <laughs> that was good i actually liked that this is why i like fluorescent lights they're so interesting when they turn on you just never know what's going to happen with each starter they all start up so differently try again oh yeah i could really hear the ballast humming there right so we'll see what it looks like without the cover off without the cover on i mean On the side, do the other side now. Set the cover off. Right, that is it with the cover off. We get a look at this fluorescent light here. Very, very nice. Probably gonna say, Why am I doing this on my rug? Because I that is actually quite unsafe, but you know, we'll do it again while it's uh, with the cover off. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Definitely do like that. We'll do this uh, starter now. This one, this one, that, this one I know is faulty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like the actual bulb's gone, isn't it? It's like it's EOL, but it isn't. It's just the starter what provides the enough thingy. Yeah, very satisfying. Right, okay, since, since this isn't going to start up by itself, I think removing this starter should fire it up. Yep. There we go, we're back on. Tongue drum.
do another one with this one as well. Last one before we open it. Yep, there we go. Turn it off now, isolate it, take the starter out. Might got warm quickly, didn't it? Right, remove the tube. Be careful with that. Remove them completely. Right, open it up. Right, now we get a look inside it. This is the starter, adaptive thingy. Your ballast, which is a tridonic. Yep. And then there's the fitting information. Let's say manufactured in 2000 and uh, either so 2002 or 2008. There's the part where you'd connect it up to the mains. Obviously, that's my uh, plug there. And then there's your. What is this? Is this like an igniter? capacitor thingy yes i still need to look more into that but as far as i'm aware it just looks like your igniter or ballast i don't think it's an igniter i think it's just your bog standard capacitor looks kind of dead without the cover with the thingies so i'm gonna put reassemble it correctly fucking hell right put that in there like that Okay, that's in. Now we've got to uh, put this. Oh, it's out again. <laughs> uh, bear with me, this is a bit dumb like. So, yeah, they go in there like that. Put that in. That's one. Now we've got to do the other side now. Hopefully, this one will be easier because I don't have all day. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't have all day either. So we've got to do it as quickly as possible. Right, there's that. Put that in there. Got to put the tube in now. Right, so I've got it in. Turn it. Now we're going to put the diffuser back in. Did I mention that this diffuser's broken, actually? Like, here is a good example. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this diffuser's broken, but thankfully it's not really noticeable when you put the uh, when it's actually back in. Right, diffuser's back in now, so now I'm going to test it with whatever starter I can find, just to make sure it's still working. Well, that needs to disconnect this soon, actually, because I'm going to wire up another fitting after this. Right, three, two, one. Right, that's working. Thanks for watching. Peace.